see a race of hands. Who are the new attendees today? Meron ba tayo new attendees? Alright, if you're sitting beside a new attendee, why don't you tell that person and tell the person beside you, welcome this Sunday. Welcome to the feast. Alright, it's such a wonderful feeling right after the Mass we get to do this. So why don't we jump in and plug into our source, the limited source of goodness, unlimited source of blessings, of forgiveness, and of love. Let us worship our God who is limitless. Come on. of our blessings. He is the source of our every breath. And if you are out of breath, just right now, after worshiping, why don't you give yourselves, you know, just a round of applause because God is in this place and our God is meant to be worshipped. We deserve, He deserves all praise. Oh, we come to you, Father. 
continue to bask in God's presence as we make this the sign of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh God, we thank you for you keep on holding us, holding on to us. You never let us go. You are the source of our blessings, the source of the miracles in our life. You are the source of the dreams, the dreams that we hope to build. And just as you planted each star in the heavens, oh God, we know that you have planted these dreams in our hearts. So in Jesus' name, we can declare and we claim that our dreams are no longer our dreams, but it is God's promises. Our dreams are no longer just goals for us to achieve, but in Jesus' name, these are God's promises for us to claim. We come in God's presence. Trusting. Leaning in. Knowing that God's promise still stands. In Jesus' name. for my soul through every storm I will hold to you with endless love draw my fears swept away
open our God who never fails, whose promise is unshaken. Why don't we tell our God in this space who He is to us? Come on, use your own words. God, you are divine, you are sovereign. You are the love of my life, oh God. I give you my all, oh Jesus. You are great, you are holy, you are the master of all. Your name is higher. And there is no one like you, oh God. There is no one like you.
you tap the person beside you, hug this person and tell them, God is with us. And it help us feel God's presence even more in this place. Help me welcome our guest preacher this afternoon, the feast builder of Feast Makati Salcedo, Brother John Silan. Amen. Do you believe that God is here in this place? Do you feel His presence when you worship? You know, worship is, is a conversation with God for something that He can change. And uh, maybe you're facing something right now, or maybe you're coming here to feast, carrying a burden in your heart. And, and my prayer is this, you offer it to God. Because we cannot handle it on our own. Our, our sin, there's a name above that sin, and that is Jesus. Amen? There's a name above every need that we have, and that's Jesus. Amen? There's a name above every other name that you're handling right now. So Father, in your name right now, I'm going to declare, Lord, I'm going to worship you through this pain. I'm going to worship you through this, through this worry. So Father in heaven, we thank you so much for, for gathering us here this very moment. I know your presence is alive in this place. So Father, shower us with your love. Show us the way. And all of this, Lord, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Can we worship the Lord one more time, everybody now? Hallelujah. facing right now I know I will win we will win my Lord Amen can you encourage people around you please God wants you to win 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 brother Mike has uh, you know, he texted me a few weeks ago but Sabi sa akin, brother John, can you can you can you cover can you cover can you cover for me? So I go sure, brother. And I think it has a lot in this plate right now. Um, the comprehensive exam in theology, of course, his father's condition, the upcoming Kerygma conference, and not only in Manila but also in Cebu and in Davao, they're launching a, a, a beautiful album, the Feast Worship album. It's amazing, and a lot of his plates. So please do pray for Brother Mike, okay? So as we worship today, Brother Mike, I know you're listening wherever you are right now. And I, I pray that the Lord is embracing you there as well. Kami na muna bahala dito. Diba? Magiging okay naman kayo, diba? Diba? Yung mas convincing, guys. Come on. Magiging okay naman kayo, diba? Oh, yeah. Very good. Let's all pray our favorite prayer at the feast. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, come on. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim, I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Let's honor God's word. Thy word 
is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I still remember this Bible. Mike bought this in Australia when we were there, 2012. Mukhang tignan niyo yung Bible yung Mike, no? Gamit na gamit. Sabay kami bumili ng Bible sa akin, ang linis pa. Hindi <laughs> nagagamit. We're in the series G. Can everybody say G? G. And uh, last week, Brother Andrews was here. Uh, he talked about gift. That was talk number one. Can everybody say gift? Yeah. And the one big message last week is this. You have a gift. Have you embraced this word in, one, in the rest of the week last week? Na may regalong binigay sa yung Diyos. Now you have something to do and you have a gift that, will, you know, that you can share to the world. Can you tell somebody beside you, you have a gift? And right now, talk number two, we're going to talk about goal. Can everybody say goal? Pakitignan ulit ang mga kasama ninyo. May goal ba yan sa buhay? Ha? Pakitignan ang mga kasabi ninyo. May mga goal ba yan sa buhay? Pumapayat ba yung mga yan? Aray, wow. Kinakausap ko po yung sarili ko. Proverbs 21, verse 5, it says, Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. But hasty shortcuts lead to where? Poverty. I, I, I love... Pakita mo ulit. Lapas. Yeah. Good planning. Can everybody say good planning? Can everybody say hard work? Can everybody say end? Hindi pwedeng good planning lang. Hindi pwedeng puro hard work lang. May kailangang end. Kailangan pareho. Hindi pwede puro good, good planning and you plan and you plan and you plan and you plan and you plan. You, you, you design and you design but you don't execute. No, no, no. And hindi rin pwede puro execute ng execute ng execute na walang plano sa buhay. That's why it's always, you know, sabi ni King Solomon, you want to prosper, you have to plan. Yes, and after you plan, you have to execute the plan. Did you have a goal this year, last January? Meron ba kayong mga goals? Di ba? Yes. December na po, two weeks from now. Kamusta ang mga plan ninyo? Ha? <laughs> Meron bang naiipon kahit papano? Nax. Financial goals. Health goals. Wow, buff. Sabi nga ni Father. I-, I love what Father said a while ago. Everything will end. Ang ganda ng mensahe ni Father kanina. Parang, parang ayoko na nga mag-talk. Really? Kasi sabi niya, at the end of the day, it's faith, hope, and love. That is the goal. Maniwala ka sa Diyos. Magbigay ka ng pag-asa at magmahal ka. Woo! Because at the end of the day, yes, you have riches. Yung dami mong pera, so what? Yes, wala kang pera, so, so what? Di ba? Yes, you have a good company, so what? Yes, you have a family, so what? Do you produce more faith? More hope, more love. Because I've met a lot of people who don't want to move anymore because a part of their past, they were hurt. Naku po, yung feast na binibuild ko sa Makati, halos 90% of them are single people, working professional, young professional, halos lahat dun single. Kaya kunyari, wala kang makita dito sa Bellevue. Marami doon, ha? Merebenta ko yung mga yan. Pupunta doon, talaga naman. Heartbroken. Talagang pupunta doon, ang lungkot. Tapos alam mo, ate ng face dahil heartbroken. Nalaman nila ang Diyos dahil heartbroken sila. Nagbreak eh. Tapos alam mo sa face, ay grabe, makakahanap sila doon. Dito na. Mamaya-maya, napapansin ko, hindi na umaaten ng feast. Kasi may boyfriend na bigla. Tapos sinitignan ko sa Facebook, choose date. Wow, choose date. Eh, choose date yung face namin. Choose date. Wow, pinos nyo pa. Tapos sabi ko sa mga kaibigan ko, alam niyo na, hayaan nyo na. Aaten din yan. Intayin nyo lang. Inuuna yung boyfriend, bago si Lord. I have met insurance agents, very, very, very young insurance agents, 
and and they they would the, the first people that they sell is their family the very first people they sell is their friends closest friends and they experience rejection right on and you know what some of them they don't want to sell anymore because of a few rejections pero alam niyo naman na nagsasak si Jaan yung kumakain ng breakfast ng rejection recently may mga doc, may doctor exam may mga pumasang mga doktor may isang po kami kaibigan na hindi po pumasa tinawakan ko kagad kamusta ka brother siya yoko na mag exam ulit bakit? ay nasaktan eh bakit tingnan na katabi nasaktan na ba? o nasasaktan habang ngayon? If you switch your heart from fear mode to faith mode, listen to this, you can use that same pain that pulled you away from your dream and push you towards it. Amen? You can use that meaning. You can dream again. Tell somebody beside you, dream again. Serve again. Love again. Amen? The one big message for today is this. Keep dreaming and keep doing. Keep dreaming and keep doing. Tell somebody beside you, keep dreaming, keep doing. Put your hands over your heart. Father in heaven, we lift up to you everything that we have right now. And in Jesus' name, I will keep dreaming. And Father, I pray that my dreams will be your dreams connected in my heart. And Father, each and every step that I walk in this planet, you know, I, I, I receive that message, Lord, that I will walk in this earth with my steps, but my heart will be connected to heaven. And I receive that word today. So guide me, Lord. Woo! Guide my heart. Napagod, napagod na. Pero lalaban pa rin dahil kasama kita. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand, everybody? Come on, just give the Lord a big, big hand. Hallelujah. Can you tell three people around you, please, pakisabi sa kanal, lumaban ka. Lumaban ka. All right, please be seated. Thank you so much, worship team. Ganda ng boses niya. Grabe. Minsan bumisita naman kayo sa Salcedo. Puro kayo dito sa PM. Mike. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Amazing, amazing work. I want to welcome all those who have come for the first time. Can we give them a big hand, please, wherever they are? Thank you so much. Um, my name is Jan. I'm the one building the feast again in Makati. Weekday ang aking feast, kaya pag Sunday, pag hindi available yung preacher, nandun po ako. May panakit buta. Saray po ako dyan. Ito ah. I hope to see you at the Krigma Conference this week. Who's gonna be there at the Krigma Conference? Meron ba? Wow! Yung mga hindi nagtaas na kamay, nako, nasaya dyan. Sana pumunta kayo. Ang galing ng host this year. Yung mag-host sa inyo, ay grabe. Top of the line. Hindi, <laughs> pero pinibenta yung sarili. No? Ako po, tsaka si Brother Velden Lim. At uh, there. I'm gonna share you a story just to kick off the, this talk. Uh, uh, a story I think I shared to you many times already. But I just want to know, sino dito mga students? Students, students. Can you say raise your hand? Students, students. Parang iba tatay na, nagtataas pa ng kamay. Parang, alright. Students, I just, I just want I just, I just want to know, students, do you love math? <laughs> diba? Yung talagang gigising ka, talagang, woo! <laughs> Excited na ako mag-math. Woo! Come on, talagang ganon yung... Ay, hindi masyado, di ba? Anyway, I didn't like math at all. Yung talagang 77 ako. 78, minsan 74, 75. And then one time, nagkaroon ako ng math grade na 81. Hindi ko alam talaga bakit. Na, siguro nagkatypo yung teacher ko. Nung 81 yung grade ko, I showed it to my mom. Alam nyo, nilagnat yung nanay ko. Sabi niya, hala, ba't ka nag-81, anak? And then one day, I, I, rem- I don't know the K-12 system right now, but during my time, fourth year high school, the math that we had was trigonometry. Yung talagang, ano daw, spelling, ano, ano yun? spelling ng trigonometry, trigo, ano, ano yun, ang hirap nun. And then later on, Mr. Javier changed my life. Mr. Javier, the teacher of trigonometry, 
You know what? First day of school, of class, he went inside the room. Pagbukas siya ng pintuan, he was bringing a statue. Muka, buong muka, statue. He was bringing it there. Siyempre, all boys kami, doon boss ko mandaluyong, talagang, wow, pare, bakit may ulo si sir? Then si sir, si Mr. Javier, you know, dala-dala niya, nilagay niya sa table niya, yung ulo. Then the, the, the face was looking at us. Of course, kami naman, we were looking at the head, kami naman, ano yun? Then Mr. Javier, suddenly, sumaludo dun sa ano, sa ulo. Tapos kami lahat pare, weirdong-weirdo na kami. Sabi ko, ano lang nangyayari? Then Mr. Javier said, Hail! He, Parkos. Hail! He, Parkos. Teacher mo rin ba si Mr. Javier? And then, nung gumanon na siya, sabi namin, pare, ano lang nangyayari? Then Mr. Javier said, Guys, Our lesson for today, the father of trigonometry is he, Parkus. Alam ninyo, hindi ko makalimutan. 16 years ago na po nangyari yun. Hindi ko makalimutan hanggang ngayon sa utak ko kung sino ang tatay ng trigonometry. Si he, Parkus. Grabe, ang laki ng kinonsume niya sa brain ko. Ang dami ko na po nakalimutan. Pangalan ng mga ex ko, mga nautangan ko, lahat po yan nakalimutan ko na. Pero yung trigonometry si Hipparcos, hindi ko makalimutan hanggang ngayon. Why? Because someone was dedicated to give his best. He gave his gift, not only his gift, but his goal was to give his best every day. Alam niyo po ba yung lesson namin? Class, our lesson for today, Isoka Towa Titig na kami isa-isa niyan Soka Towa Kami lang soka Ano yun? Pare, soka daw Soka Soka Towa Sine is equal to Opposite over hypotenuse Ka Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse Towa Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent Soka Towa. Grabe, yun po ang formula ng trigonometry. Yung friend ko po, yung isa namin sa mga, ano, recently, this month lang, visited Don Bosco Manduluyong. At wala siyang ibang ginawa doon, kundi hanapin si Mr. Javier. Si Mr. Javier po, hindi na po siya math teacher ngayon. Ano na siya? Assistant principal na siya. So, nag-selfie sila. Tama itong lokolokon to. Nag-selfie siya. Tignan mo yung unang comment. The first comment of my classmate. <laughs> Soka. <laughs> Towa. 16 years ago na po yun nangyari ito. But we still remember him today. Soka. Towa. Tawang tawa talaga ako. Sabi ko, gagamitin ko sa talk to. Why? Because somebody gave his best And that, you know what? My grades in, in you know, trigonometry is like 89, you know, 88. Hindi pa rin ako nag-90, pero hindi rin masyadong mababa. Why? Hindi naman pala mahirap yung subject. But it was delivered in a way that would bless me until today. Soka. You know what? When I talk to companies, I told them, you know what? If you have goals, you don't just set goals. It should be smart goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, yun. and time-bound. Hindi pa pwede yung ano lang, gusto mo lang, I want to be rich. Hindi pwede. Kailangan specific. And these are the areas of your life, family, career, business, health, financial, spiritual. You have to have smart goals in each and every area of your life. Ang problema, marami sa atin, ang daming family goals. Pero, huy, yan, walang health goals. Tapos may mga financial goals pero hindi naman nagsisimba. Kulang. It should be specific and measurable. You don't just say, I, I want to be rich. Hindi. Set a timetable. Why? Measure is to pressure. I want to earn this much because I'm gonna use this money for my wedding at February ganyan. Why? You have to be specific. I want to be branch manager by January 2020 or something like that. But you need to be specific. 
Next, attainable. Can everybody say attainable? You don't, you don't set goals that are not realistic. I want to lose 100 pounds tomorrow. Labo nun, Brad. Miski, anong gawin mong workout? Andyan pa rin yan. Why? If your goal is not realistic, this is what will happen. Hindi ka gaganahan. That is, you know, hindi na mangyari yan. Iwanan mo. Next, relevant. Can you everybody say relevant? Your goal is this. You need to love, love and like that goal. Dapat goal mo yan. Hindi goal ng magulang mo. Hindi goal ng boss mo. But you want this goal because you want this goal. It needs to be relevant and time-bound. Ask yourself, what can I do today to reach that goal? Maybe this is my point, dear brothers and sisters. If your goal is clear, your priorities will follow. If your goal is clear, your priorities will follow. Family goals. You know, my family goal ako. Ito, I, I, as you know, when I married, my, my beautiful wife is just there. Kusan sa pa ikut nandyan yata sa likod. And uh, when I married my wife, she already had Mateo that time. Mateo was five years old when I, when I met my wife. And then when I met my wife, Mateo was there. And I'm, I'm gonna, I told myself, I'm going to be the coolest dad for you, Mateo. Was Mateo there? Was Mateo? Yeah, Mateo was over there. I mean, told Mateo, Mateo, I'm going to be the coolest dad for you. And then, of course, I got, we got married uh, February of this year. Then I told Mateo, I'm going to be the coolest dad for you. And then, of course, we're going to transfer him from, you know, because we're transferring, you know, she lives in Sukkot. That's why this is her feast, feast in Bellevue. And then my feast in Makati. So I told my wife, you know what, we're going to transfer to Makati. Because that's where I live. And that's where my, I work, my work is. And that's where your meetings are. So Mateo, you're going to transfer from Sukat to Makati. No choice. But I'm going to be the coolest dad. And then I transferred, I transferred him from this beautiful school of Manresa in BF to this school in, you know, Don Bosco, Makati, where bullies are made because Arun Gogna is a graduate there. And, uh, <laughs> and then I transferred him there but, you know, transferred them J July. So this conversation, Mateo and I, I had last, uh, was last April. Last April, Mateo told me, Dad. Well, by the way, this is a picture of Mateo and me. This was, you know, during our wedding. Ay, yan. Yan si Mateo, yan. Yan na lang, kasi para inedit na eh. Yan. <laughs> and then, I, I told, I, Mateo told me, Dad, I have a, I have a big problem. You know, I was driving, he was telling me, Dad, I don't, know how, I, I don't know how to say this, Dad, but I have a big problem. So I said, oh, what's happening? Why? And I said, Dad, eight years old, Dad, I have a girlfriend. Alam nyo, nashock ako. Eight years old ka pa lang. May girlfriend. Alam niyo yung tumatakbo sa isip ko? Sasabunin ko ng sermon ngayon. I'm gonna be the coolest dad, but pero mamaya na yun, sasabunin muna kita ngayon. Anong alam mo sa pag-ibig? Eight years old ka pa lang. Girlfriend, girlfriend ka pa. Pero hindi ko sinabi yun. Because I'm cool. So I held on my thought. Talagang sobra kong pinigilay yung sarili ko and I told Mateo, what do you mean? Dad, actually, she doesn't know <laughs> that she's my girlfriend, Dad. She doesn't know it. But, you know, sabi ko, oh, and then who's that girl? You, you know, one, one day our math teacher was absent and then she was two years uh, higher than me and then she went to our classroom and taught us math. Di ba may yung mga ganun sa isa ba yung school, yung higher level pumupunta sa lower level to teach them. So nakita niya, shucks, ang ganda nito. As ang katanino pa, you are my girlfriend. That is for him. Then I just told him, okay, just, just, Okay, so what do you plan? Dad, I feel bad. Because I think, I think I need to break up with her. 
Bala ka sa buhay mo. <laughs> like, and then, you know what? And, and then, I, I was amazed by that moment. You know, we, when, when, when we had that conversation with, I had that conversation with Mateo. Why? Because it's also a reminder for me to shut up. It's a reminder for me to listen more. What if this was a scenario? What if, Dad, I have a girlfriend. And then, I suddenly, walang pigil-pigil, alam mo ba yung konteksto ng pag-ibig? Alagang ginanong ko talaga, talagang sinabong ko siya that moment. Do you think Mateo will even share more? No. What do you mean? Uh, can I have a word for you know, the parents that are here? Any parents that are here? Can you give yourselves a big hand? Any parents that are here, di ba? Parents, bring this home, huh? Parents, speak in a way that your kids love to listen to you. And listen in a way that your kids love to talk to you. Yan, picturean ninyo. M- mga bata nagpipicture. Very good. Picturean nyo, mga kids. Sige na, picturean nyo. Padala nyo kailang mami yan. Very good. Mom, pag pinapagalitan ka, Mom, sabi ni Brother John, speak in a way, ha? Huh? Speak in a way. <laughs> then listen in a way that your kids love to talk to you. Amen, children. Amen? amen. Oh, yung mga nag-amen, kayo naman makinig ngayon. A word for the children that are here. We never know the love of a parent until we become parents ourselves. Amen, Daddy. We would never know. Grabe po. Alam niyo po, kinong kinasal kami last Feb. By God's blessing, uh, na, na, nabuntis ko po yung asawa ko. Nakabuntis po ako. At uh, <laughs> yung asawa ko po. And then recently, uh, last month, my, this, this little boy was born. His name is Javi. Javi's there. I am just over there. And uh, I-, I love I love Javi by the way. Uh, hindi ko po alam nung nilabas yung anak ko, ang laki. Hindi wala talaga ako idea but ang laki ng anak ko. Ba- Pagtingin ko, anak ba't ang laki-laki mo? Sino ba tatay mo anak? Ang laki talaga. Hindi na ako natakot hawakan yung anak ko kasi pag lapag sa akin nung nurse, talagang wow! Bare high school ka na. <laughs> That's just there. And then Yo, Javi, he has something, you know, pag kinakarga mo, yung talagang natuto po ako mag-chacha niya, talagang, kamusta ka, Javi? And then mamaya, may ilal- ilalapag ko siya, kasi nga matutulog na. Pag matutulog na, pag nabitawan ko, alam niya yung nag- gina- ginagawa? Yung, iiyak. Gutom ka ba? Gut- ah, hindi naman. Tapos tignan ko, kung may poop, wala naman. So gusto lang magpakarga ulit nung kinaragyan na. <laughs> Tapos yung aabangan ko hanggang sa makatulog, pag tulog na tulog na, deep sleep na ang gagawin ko. <laughs> Ilalapag ko na siya ulit. At paglapag, ayun na naman. <laughs> And this will happen, you know what? From 11 to 3. 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Yung ganun dancing namin. <laughs> Gusto ko nang matulog eh. <laughs> And you know what? This experience. Woo! I hugged my mom. After that. I embraced my mom. Why? Grabe yung sakripisyo ng isang magulang. There are times na sinasagot, ang lakas ko sumagot ha, ako pa. Ang lakas ko kumain. <laughs> Then I appreciate her more because I'm a parent now. Excuse me, yung mga anak na nandito, Wala tayong karapatan. Awayin o sagutin ang mga magulang natin. 
Make it your goal to love them every day. Amen? Pwede nyo bang palakpakan yung mga magulang ang mga nandito? Tapos yung isang beses, itong, itong, itong anak ko, grabe talaga. Yung dedede, after magdede, habang nagdedede sila dyan, si Angela at si Javi, I was making my talk. Pag if you're making your talk, may peak level yan. Yan talagang lahat ng stories pumapasok na, lahat ng jokes, ayan na, lahat ng power, yan nandyan na, lahat ng scripture nandyan na. And in the middle of everything that I do, my wife would call me and say, Love. Sabi ko, bakit? Love. Burp. Ano ibig sabihin ng Burp. <laughs> Diba? Ilalagay, alam na alam ni nanay, ilalagay mo dito para mag-burp. Tina, tinatry ng asawa ko ilagay si Javi dito, pero hindi mag-burp. Ang nipis ng asawa ko kasi, natutusok-tusok siguro yung anak ko. Pero alam ninyo, pag lapag lang sa akin, isang lapag pa lang ha, pag arbuk, <laughs> lahat talaga. Sabi ko, anak, wow, grabe ha. <laughs> para ako waterbed, yun talaga nakaganan lang siya. And sabi ko no, uh, the, the, the other night, sabi ko mga five minutes lang to, okay na to. But it lasted, you know what? Eh, parang ganito, the picture namin. Ang ganyan, it lasted for two hours. Two hours. Ah, ganun lang siya. And then I was looking at my laptop, my talks, my talk for a company, my talk for Feast Bellevue. And I was looking at my son, and I was looking at my laptop. This is what I do. This is the talk. This is what I do. But this is why I do it. If your parents are telling you you're in the bad company, probably you are. If your parents are telling you that guy is not right for you, Diba? Tapos inis na inis tayo. Hindi niya maintindihan. Hindi na maya kilala itong boyfriend ko. Hindi <laughs> niya kailangan malaman. Ugali mo lang. Hello? Please. If your parents are not here when you go home, hug them. Hug them. Text them. I love you. Actually, not I love you ha. I love you too. Alam niyo, magre-reply yan. Anong kailangan mo? <laughs> Two! Second, family goals. Next, health goals. Pakitingin na nakatabay. May health goals ba yan? Ha? Sana meron. <laughs> Ang asawa ko, simula naging asawa kami, nawala na lahat ng fast food numbers sa telephone ko. Wala na. Siya na tagaluto. Ay, sarap na sarap ako. Tapos nag-hire pa kami ng yaya. Ang sarap din magluto. So sila tagaluto. Hindi na po ako nag... Basta lahat ng 8-7,000 at 8 tricks. Anyway, lahat ng yan, wala na. Bakit? Ay, gagawa ang asawa ko. Alam niyo po ba, the worst thing that you can give this Christmas to an obese person like me, you know? Alam niyo, may mga malalaki, di ba? Katulad ko, malaki. alam ko na malaki ako. Eh, mag-birthday na ako. The worst gift that you can give to someone like me is t-shirt. Inis na inis po ako at tinatandaan ko kung sino nagbibigay ng t-shirt sa akin. Bakit? May mga 2X ka yung t-shirt, di ba? Pero slim fit. Para naging 2X to, pero slim fit. Slim fit. Slim fit. <laughs> And then, last birthday ko, this happened, last birthday, One of my friends, and tita friends, talagang the tita friends told me, John, I have a gift for you, John. Talagang alam mong mahal yung binili niya kasi excited siya. When she gave it to me, rapper pa lang, paghawa ko, sabi ko, t-shirt. <laughs> sabi ko, thank you. Siyempre, very, very polite. Thank you, tita. Okay lang to. Tapos sinago ko na, bakit? Wala akong balak suotin. And I'm gonna give it to my parents, maybe. I'm gonna give it to my younger brother. And dun na. And then sabi niya, sabi ng tita, John, buksan mo na. <laughs> sabi ko, tita, it's okay. Hindi, sige na para malaman natin kung, kung, kung kasya. Ako naman. 
Then I went to the CR. Pagpunta kong CR, syempre, hubad ko muna yung t-shirt ko. Then eto na, sinuot ko na yung regalo. Pagsuot ko nung regalo, talagang boom! Talagang mm, boom! Mm. Lahat ng pwedeng lumabas, lumabas mo talaga. <laughs> Lahat, as in talagang curves by curves by curves. Talaga. Sabi ko, wow, wow. <sighs> Alam, miski nagtaking ka na talagang... <gasps> Tita, alam mo, itong tita nagbigay, titingin sa akin, sabi niya, oh, <laughs> yan yung biggest nila <laughs> Kaya nga, ayokong sotin! Anyway, have health goals. Amen? Next is this, financial goals. If you have financial goals, number one, you have to keep on asking the Lord. Can everybody say, keep asking? Why? If you keep asking, it will validate your brain and your mind that you really want this thing. Parate, kung, kung gusto mo siya parate, gusto mo siya parate, gusto mo siya parate, ito yung gusto ko, ito yung gusto ko, binavalidate mo, gusto ko pa rin ba to? Gusto ko, parang iba na yung gusto ko. I remember, again, Mateo. Mate, ang ganda ng grades si Mateo this first term. Then I told him, Mateo, what do you like? Sabi niya, Dad, all I want, you know, is, you know, is a Pokemon card. Gold edition. Sabi ko, sure. Kasi hindi ko naman alam kung magkano, so Sure. Then we went to town center. Doon sa Rustan, doon sa baba. Pagtingin namin, Pokemon card. Gold edition. Pakinig ka. <laughs> Pagkita ko. Tatlong libo. Sabi niya, Dad, Dad, <laughs> My price. Are you shy? Why? <laughs> and then, I told him, okay, that's good. Let's pray about it. Come on, let's go. Siyempre, hindi ayoko ipahalata sa kanya. Wala akong pera, no? So anyway, and then later on, after a few weeks, we would go again there. Dad, my price. Yes, I want this. I told him, Mateo, look, I want you to be the very best. Like no one ever was. <laughs> to catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Gonna catch them? It's you and me. I know it's my destiny. Oh, you're my best friend in the world we must defend. Gonna catch them? Our hearts so true. Our courage will pull us through. You teach me and I teach you. Can I catch them? <laughs> anyway, so ganun. Pray na lang tayo. Alis tayo dyan. And then, if you have kids, you know the song. If hindi mo alam, matanda ka na. Yun lang yun. And then, later on, a few weeks ago, we went to town again. May ipon ako ng konti para sa card then he looked at me and said nah I don't need it I only I only want it dad because my classmates has it and I borrow it it's not good it's not nice but it's okay but you know I don't need it <laughs> okay so what do you want now Siyempre, naglakad na kami, hinila ko na, di ba? 
So what do you want now? Dad, I was thinking, I want an iPhone. <laughs> and I told him, okay, let's buy the Pokemon card. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, I have an old iPhone and he's using it right now during my talk. And uh, I love it. But you have to keep asking why it validates you if that's what you really want. And then the Lord will tell you, Gusto nyo bang matawa ang Diyos? Yes? O sige. Yung, you write down your dreams and you present it to God. Lord, it siya po ang gusto ko. Ito po yung pangalan niya. Ah, siya po ang gusto ko. Alam mo, minsan ang Diyos. <laughs> Huy! Ang daming beses mo na nahuli yan eh. Ano pa? Tiba ang dami niyang katex, huwag na yan. <laughs> eh, Lord, siya nga, gusto ko eh. <laughs> Adik yan, ano ba? <laughs> Lord, gusto ko ng promotion. Ito po, promotion, Lord. Ang, ang Diyos. <laughs> Tatanggalin nga kita eh. Kasi, malilimit ka dyan. Gusto kong mag-prosper ka. Gusto kong ma-bless ka with a business that will bless the world. Tama na yan. If you keep asking the Lord of what you want, He will validate it as well and give you something better. Can I hear an amen? And next is this, keep thinking. Keep thinking. Can you all stand please? Let's all stand. Keep thinking. Pakisabi nga sa katabi, thank you. Big or small blessings, thank the Lord. Amen? Last message I want you to bring home is this. God wants you to win. Can you please tell somebody beside you, God wants you to win. Kaya kung feeling mo, mukhang talo ka, hindi pa tapos. It's not yet done. Why? God wants you to win. You know what? I was... My wife and I, we were acquiring um, a condo unit that we will get five years from now. So sabi ko, so habang nag tayo ng five years, ang tayo titira. Then I... I asked my dad, sabi ko pa, my dad has an old apartment, sabi ko pa, can, 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 can I just borrow your land for, for five years? <laughs> can I just borrow it for five years? Can, you know, can, I, can I be there with, with my wife? And sabi niya, are you sure? Sabi ko, sige po. And then we, we looked at the apartment Pag tingin namin ang apartment, ito po yung itsura niya, the first, uh, first few days. <laughs> and I told my wife, sabi ko, Angela, dito tayo titira. <laughs> you know what? I want to thank, I want to honor my wife. Why? Una-una, hindi niya ako iniwan. Pangalawa, she honored me. She waited. Then nung nakikita niya ang ganyan, sige, pakita lang natin. Yung sala namin yan, Sira-sira, ang daming daga, ang daming ipis. And then yun po yung CR namin. Tapos ganyan. Then I ask her, si gusto ba tingnan yung taas? Pero dahan-dahan ka lang kasi baka lumusot yung paa mo. Then pag akit namin, ito po yung master's bedroom namin. This is the master's bedroom. <laughs> and I told my wife, you know what? This is our room. Hindi ka ba excited matulog kasama ako? This is our room. And if just in case Mateo and uh, Jabi, when he grows up, they can sleep here on the others in the other side. And but pero dito tayo, this will be our room. And you know what? During this time, when I was looking at the apartment, and and I was you know a little bit discouraged, and but you know, uh, may pinapagawa kami apartment, and then then may pinapa may binibili pa kami land na binuhulugan namin every month, and then. 
Mateo has tuition fees and then and then nagbuntis ko nga po asawa ko then there's hospital bills and all of it nararamdaman niyo ba yun? yung parang sabay 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 lahat and and there's a lot of things that you need to do but your resource is limited limited but i am limited Sabi ko, Lord, kahit wala pang pera, thank you, ha. Thank you, ha. Kasi, feeling ko kaya to. Then I worked. Alam niyo, yun yung talagang trabahong kabayo. <laughs> yung talagang trabaho ka talaga. Hanap ka ng talk, hanap ka ng seminar. Punta ka dito, punta ka dyan. Miski saan pa yan? Just to earn your money. And my wife is all, you know, my wife, she's also booking clients. She's a wedding coordinator. Booking clients after one another and she was just doing all her stuff and we combined our money. So we go, wow, saan galing to? <laughs> and in the same way, kahit na may pinapagawa kami, tabi, 10% bigay sa fees. Tagyo tabi, 10% bigay sa fees. Magkano na lang tayo dito? Okay. Kaya alam niyo po, na-appreciate ko. Pag mapapasok kami ng mga depo-depo, na-appreciate ko ang tiles. Because right now, you know, our simple home is something like this. You know, from, from this, we're able to build it so something like this. Bawat tiles po na yan, pinagdasal ko po yan. Tapos yung hanabisi na yan, yung cooking-cooking na yan, top of the line yan, 900 pesos yan. Yung rice cooker, basta Christmas gift yan. Yung Christmas party, nanalo ka lang, rice cooker. Yung ganun, akin na rin yan. Yung, yung basurarahan na yan, buy one, take one yan, kinuha ko yan. At lahat ng yan. Ako, bawat party po ng bahay, ay, Tapos akyat kami. Ito na po yung itsura ng konting master, master's bedroom namin. Huwag yun na po pansinin yung mga nakasabit sa labas. Hindi po amin yan, ha? <laughs> Baka ano pa makita ninyo? Ay, dapat pala y- yung bintana na yan. Naku, kita namin yung labas pero hindi kami kita sa loob. May mga ganun pala. Tapos yung airco na yan, inverter pala dapat. Ang mahal pala ng unan, ng bedsheet, ng kama. Kailangan pala may kama, no? So anyway, lahat ng yan. And, and, and vinyl na tiles, iba pa pala yun sa tiles sa baba. And I was, I was looking at it. And then, other, other, next picture. And I asked, this is the room of Mateo now. Alam niyo, yung, yung airco na yan, hindi po gumagana yan. Picture lang yan. Basta nandyan lang yan. And during the house blessing, next picture. And when, when, you know, Karen, I told her, God wants us to win. And God will always be with us. If He is providing for us today, He will provide us in the future. He will always be with us. First John, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. Listen everybody, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything, anything, can everybody say anything? Anything that is according to His will, He hears us. Be confident that God is listening to your prayers right this very afternoon. Be confident that He knows the solution to your problems. Be confident that He's healing you right this very moment. Be confident in Christ. And God is doing something new in your heart 
right this very moment he's reminding us today that he is the Lord over our sins of our past he's the Lord over our death he's the Lord over our sicknesses he's the Lord over our problems he is the Lord of everything that is pulling you down he is the Lord of all so if you're here and if you have a need for God to show up in an in a in an area of your life if you need him to show up can I invite you just to raise your hand only if you're comfortable Father in heaven we lift up to you every concern and every worry that we have in our hearts right this very moment in Jesus I declare whew, I declare that you are Lord of all This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Come on, worship the Lord one more time. You still the oceans at your call. And at your whisper, mountains fall. All of creation in your control. Jesus, you reign. You are Lord. Your feet, we are on our knees. You are enough, you are all we need. You calm our hearts and you give us peace. Jesus, you reign, you are Lord of all. In your maybe five or six people around you pakisabi sa kanila God wants you to win come on embrace them give them a high five come on five people around you please God wants you to win 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 can we 
give the Lord a big, big hand, everybody. Come on. Thank you, God. Please be seated for a while. Inhale. Exhale. Na-bless ba kayo? Oh, all right, very good. Pag nagtanong si Micah, na-bless kayo, ha? For our LO exhortation, I want to welcome our dear friends RJ Valdomar and Maureen Romera. Let's give them a big, big hand, please. Oh, they're here. Okay. Feast of the Bang. Good afternoon. Um, we just want to share po um, yung blessings namin for um, for giving ba? with all the things that we have. Um, before, I was typically a one-day millionaire type of person. You know, the one who spends hard-earned money, however I like it. Um, gadgets, clothes, di ba? Um, and other things. Even so, I really felt empty. One time, while attending the Mass, I saw this guy on a wheelchair. Wheelchair. Um, he called this kid na nagtitinda ng sampagita. Have anyone here experienced that or saw that? Diba? Usually sa churches, may nagtitinda ng sampagita. Akala ko bibigyan lang niya ng pera or food or something. Diba? Like some of us do. Pag naawa dun sa bata. What he did that time shocked me. He took out his slippers, handed them to the kid. And not just any slippers. I, I believe it was Nike or something. I will never forget the face of that guy. The smile he gave. That beautiful smile. It hit me hard. I was thinking, maybe there was more joy in giving than receiving. And so I thought, after that, I started, you know, I was thinking, maybe the extra money I spend and I have, maybe it was meant to help the people in our community. After that, I started attending Mass more until I was invited here to feast. It, at first, it was in PICC and started giving my love offering. There, I started to find satisfaction, sense of fulfillment. Okay na ako doon. Ang sarap, ang sarap sa pakiramdam ng alam mo may natutulungan kang tao. Alam Even though you are not seeing it in front of you, but you know the thought of it that you are giving help to other people. It's euphoric. Okay na ako doon. Ang sarap na sa pakiramdam, alam mo may natutulungan ka. And, it's the same, and at the same time, it's your, it's your gesture of being thankful for all of the blessings that you receive. It's my way. But the Lord truly surprised me in so many ways. First, I got promoted. I had salary increase. Kabili na ako ng bahay at an early age. Um, but the best part of all is that God sent me a very unexpected package from heaven. And she's standing beside me here now. Maureen Romera, will you marry me? package I, I received from God ever. Thank you. in this place. Amen. Amen. 
Alright, let me see a show of hands. Sino dito yung gusto mangyari sa kanya yan one day? Taas ang kamay. Yan. <laughs> Ako nakinig kayo kay Brother Jan, di ba? Sabi nga niya, keep on praying. Yan. Alright, so we are truly blessed that we get to see and experience um, concrete examples of God's love in this space. So let me call on our new attendees. Do we have new attendees in the house? Yan, welcome to the feast. Di bala, hindi naman po every Sunday may proposal dito. <laughs> minsan, minsan. Okay. So, if uh, to our new attendees, welcome po to the feast. Please go to that area over there. Where we will give you a welcome package or a welcome gift. Thank you for attending. And we hope to see you again next week. And also, for those who would like to be prayed over, uh, we have the... Uh, Um, I am or the intercessory ministry over on that side so you can approach any of our intercessory ministers over there to um, and they will pray for you Paul okay, um, Christmas is fast approaching so I want to invite everyone um, Feast Bellevue PM is doing this drive or um, a call for donations um, I think we have a poster so this is uh, the blessing bucket Um, drive. It's a Christmas donation drive for the less fortunate families of San Roque de Alabang Parish. So FBPM or Feast Bellevue PM will be preparing the buckets containing Noche Buena items. So if you have items to share, these are for the poorest of the poor in the San Roque de Alabang Parish. Um, one bucket costs 500 pesos po. All those who care are willing to um, or willing to sponsor Um, the buckets, they will be asked, you will be asked to sign a gift card which will be attached to the bucket. So, ilalagay naman po dun sa bucket. Um, and the distribution of the buckets will be on November 30 during the outreach of FBPM. Okay. And also, we want to announce um, that there will be no feast next week because we will be, where? Saan po tayo? Sa Kirigma Conference. Okay. We'll be there. Um, in SMX uh, MOA and, and at the MOA Arena and we will return here at Feast Bellevue PM here in um, Alabang on December 2 na po. Okay? So, kailan po tayo babalik dito sa Bellevue sa December 2. Okay? So, kung next week po maka, pumunta kayo dito baka may ibang kasabay siya na si The One. Okay? Tapos sa susunod na Sunday Yan, sila naman yung ganon. Okay. Next po. Next announcement. All right. Finally, we have um, the KCON. In a few days, Kirigma Conference is happening. We are all excited about this. Let's watch this video. Are you in need of a mega dose of inspiration? Are you in need of practical wisdom to answer certain questions in your mind on how to deal with your family, your relationships, your money, your health? You know what? There is a place to go to. Kerygma Conference 2018. For the past years, we've been able to bring thousands of people closer to God. And yes, drinking from the fountain of wisdom. This year, our theme is limitless. And we want to bring you into a full awareness and the embracing of the limits and weaknesses and struggles. You become open to receive all the limitless love and power that He wants to give you. Four days, Kerygma Conference 2018. I will see you there. I will see you there. All right, we will see him there. All right. Ano ba dito? Tumatayo pag love offering? Okay, tamad lang yung mga taga-makati. Nakaupo lang sila. All right, did you, did you enjoy God's best today? Yeah. Again, uh, congratulations po sa inyong dalawa. I pray that you'll uh, grow more in love each day. Amen? Mga sudyante dyan, mag-aral muna kayo, ha? Mm. Sino may gusto ng ganito, nagtatanong si Carol, nagtataas ng mag-aral muna. Amen? Lift up your offering. Can we all stand, please? Let's lift up our offering. Father in heaven, thank you so much because we have something to offer. This came from you. Bless our offering. Double it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, give to the Lord. Sing this song. Come on. Put your hands together. Join us in dancing and singing as we end this feast today. There's a river going out from your presence.
Big Rock Conference. God bless. Woo! Woo!